Let's get right to it. Predicting the direction of any given career is a lot easier than picking winning stocks. Let's predict the direction of machine learning. All you need to do is a few simple deductions. If you follow this channel, and thank you if you do, you know that 80% or more of all real-world machine learning is data sourcing and data cleansing. You'd also know that around 80% or more of all real-world job posts are asking for SQL. So, we can deduce that most of these jobs will be working with data most of the time. If modeling is a small part of the job, and machine learning is data sourcing and data cleansing, what do you think the future of machine learning is? Right, it's working with data. Now, the next part isn't so intuitive, so I'll explain it. The other day, I showed a machine learning engineering role at Nike. The top three skills Nike wants from their machine learning engineer are SQL, AWS, and ETL. The SQL and AWS are obvious, but what about ETL? ETL stands for Extract, Transform, and Load. This is essentially creating data pipelines for the sourcing and cleansing of the data in your models. Nike just provided you with the future of machine learning, creating data pipelines. Automation is here, and the machine learning role isn't going to escape it. In the near future, most machine learning jobs are going to require you to not only be able to source your data, not only cleanse your data, but be able to create data pipelines out of those processes that you use for sourcing and cleansing your data. The new job falls under ML operations. Well, it does for now, at least. Go ahead, hold me to it. In the next several years, you're going to see the need for ML operations professionals skyrocket. ML operations, or data pipeline creation and automation, is the future of machine learning. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.